Welcome to our ninth video with data structures and algorithms. And we're talking about the algorithm of merge sort in this video. And we've got a few arguments here for our merge sort algorithm. The first one is our array A. Okay, and here's our example. Then we have our starting index and our ending index. So for us, uh, we're going to sort the entire array. You don't have to, okay, but that's what we're going to do. This obviously allows you to sort a section of an array if you so desired. So here is our p value. Here's our r value. And we're going to start sorting this. So we have to check to see if 1 is less than 6, okay, if, if p is less than r. Now, just a quick example if p was not less than r, let's say it was here, okay, at 4, obviously there's only one element there. Right, so we don't need to sort that. We don't need to do anything. There's only one, so it's it's good to go. So we continue here. Now, um, so one is less than six, so we're good there. Now we need to find a Q value, and you'll see how we use this in just a second. So to calculate the Q, it's P plus R over two, and then we floor that. So one plus six is seven. Uh, which uh, divided by 2 is 3.5 floor, which is 3. So 3 is our Q value. And now we're going to merge sort, again, recursive call here, from P to Q. So now we're just going to merge sort this half. So this is our uh, the divide part of our divide and conquer. So we're going to divide it right there. And again, we've got 5, 3, and 1. I'm going to write the indices 1, 2, and 3. And now, again, our new merge sort here, our, our first recursive call for this section. This is our p-value. This is our r-value, our r-index. 1 is less than 3, so we're good. So let's get a q-value. 1 plus 3 is 4, divided by 2 is 2. And again, we're going to call merge sort from p to q. Okay, so here's our division. Now... Here's 5 and 3, we've got index 1 and index 2, 1 is our new P index and then our R index, 1 is less than 2 so we're good so we need to find a Q value, 3 over 2 floor is 1, so we're there, here's where we're dividing, and we've got 5, whoops it's kind of a crazy 5, here we've got 5. This is index 1, this is our P index, and also it's our R index. Now, as we said before, P is not less than R here, right? 1 is not less than 1, so we don't do any of this. This is done. This is sorted. So we're going to return from this merge sort for this one, and we'll do the other merge sort, right? Q plus 1, that's 2, to R, which is 2, and we're going to have the same scenario here. We're going to draw it anyways. This is our P index, our R index. It's the same number. So that's sorted. So we return from this merge sort right here. And now we need to merge these two together. So there's my this one. Okay, we're just going to draw it over here. So is 5 less than 3? No, so we bring 3 down. And there's nothing left in here to check, so we just bring the rest of this side down, which is 5. Whoops, it's kind of a messed up 5. That's 5, that's the same 5. So that's sorted. Now we've completed this half, right? This first merge sort call for this one right here, this level. So we need to call the second merge sort right here. So we have 1 here, and the index is 3, which is our P index and our R index. So this is sorted. And so now we're done with that second merge sort of this, uh, of this right here. This is our right side. So now we merge these two. All right, we'll just say right here. And right here, okay, so is 3 less than 1? No. 
So we bring one down. There's nothing left in this array to check, so we just copy this, the rest of this down, and that side is sorted. So now we've completed this first merge sort call right up here for our original array. Right? We've completed that entire merge sort call. So now we need to make the second one, right? Q plus one, right? Which is four, four, six, nine. Um, right here, Q plus one to R. Right? Let's write our indices. That's four, five, and six. So now here's our P index and our R index. Okay, four is obviously less than six. So four plus six is 10 over two is five. There's our Q. And that's where we're going to divide this up and we're gonna merge sort this half. So we've got four and six. Let's put our indices so we can keep track. So here's our P value for this merge sort call and our R value, our index. Four is less than five, so we need to find a Q. That's nine divided by two floor, which is four. That rhymes. So we divide it there, and we're left with four on this side. So we call merge sort on this, and obviously it is both our P and our R index. So we know that this is sorted, right? We're done. That's all we're going to do for that one. So we've completed this first merge sort call for the left side. We need to do the same for the right. So we've got six here. And the index is five. Same thing here, P value, R value. So we don't do any of this. That's sorted. So now we return to uh, from this merge sort call, right, the right side. We need to merge these two. So we do that. Right here is four less than six. Yep, nothing left, so six comes down. This side is sorted, and we've finished this half right here. We finished this first merge sort call here. So now we do the right Q plus one on the right side, and we have nine. And this is index six. It is the P value and the R value. So we don't do any of this because six is not less than six, obviously. So this is sorted. So we're done with this merge call, or this merge sort call, sorry. And now we merge these two, right? This side and this side. These are two sorted ones. So there's that one. So four less than nine, yep. Six less than nine, yep. Nothing's left, so bring the nine down. And this is sorted. Now, we're done with this second merge sort call, right, for this top level for our original array. So we've successfully sorted the left side, we've successfully sorted the right side, independent of each other, and now all we have to do is merge them together down here, and we ask is one less than four? Yes, three less than four? Yes, five less than four? No, so we bring the four down. Um, five less than six? Yes, and there's nothing left over here, so we bring down the rest of this array, which is six and nine, and now this, if I can draw that, there we go, is sorted. There we go. So in the next video, we'll talk about how we're actually merging uh, all of these sorted um, arrays.